to the first half of sports. I am Beth Mensinger, and we are at Coca-Cola Park in Allentown, the home of the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, but we are joined by a special guest today. It's Russ Kanzler, Hazleton-born, Hazleton native. Russ Kanzler playing for the Norfolk Tide. It's the second game of a four-game homestand, and we figured we'd come down and see how everything's going for you, Russ. Uh, just off the bat, how is everything going here for everything's, you at Norfolk? Everything's going good, Beth. Uh, good to see you guys. And uh, you know, so far, it's been a pretty good year. Um, you know, in AAA again, uh, it's kind of the, you know, it's something that you don't want to uh, let be beat yourself up about. Uh, you know, obviously, I'd like to be in the major leagues right now, but I'm fortunate enough to be with a really good team here. We're playing great baseball. We're in first place. Uh, for a time there, we were one of the hottest teams in the minor league baseball. And uh, for myself, you know, I've been swinging the bat pretty well. And it's always nice coming coming home. Uh, I love playing here in Lehigh, and, and we'll get to play in Scranton in a few weeks. So I get to come home, see my family, and, and stay at my house. Uh, I was going to say, beginning of the season, you were kind of all over the place. We were talking on the ride down that it was uh, an interesting couple weeks for you. What was going through your mind, and how have things kind of come together, and how has it been uh, with the Tide? Uh, you know, it was a little bit of a roller coaster off season. Uh, I was with five different teams over a couple month period, like you said, and uh, I tried not to get too worked up about it because that's the business of baseball. You know, uh, you get traded, you, you change organizations, you change teams. Uh, I looked at it as a blessing. You know, I ended up here in the Orioles in a really good situation when I could have stayed with some other teams that I might have not had as good of a situation to play in the major leagues. So um, I'm in a good spot here. They use a lot of guys from our team. They've already called up, you know, five or six guys throughout the course of the year to play in the big leagues. So it's just a matter for me to just uh, keep knocking on the door and, and hopefully that somebody, somebody will answer. And we've been following you the whole time, and it's been interesting to see kind of where you end up each night. You're infield. You're listed as third baseman, but you're infield, outfield. Last night you were DH. You went one for four. You did a good job, uh, hit a single. But how, how does that kind of keep you on your toes? It, it forces you to stay on your toes. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not even sure what position I am anymore, to be honest with you. I, I've, I've played a lot of first, a lot of third, outfield, you know, designated hitter. At one point when I was with the Cubs, they tried me a catcher, and, and that was a bad idea. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I like it. You know, it gives you a, a different opportunity to see the game from another angle. It, 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 you know, forces me to prepare myself. I have to take my ground balls at third, at first. I can make sure I get my fly balls in the outfield. And, you know, for a young player, too, it, it gives you an opportunity to showcase yourself and, and maybe make yourself look a little more valuable to the big club. Do you think that there are any downfalls of that, that you can't practice at third base and stay in that hot corner and, and, and kind of get better there? Yeah, you know, I, I've made that argument to myself sometimes, too, that, hey, if I played first base every single day for the entire year, how good could I could I become at uh, at that position? But, uh, you know, the big thing that, that carries me is my bat. Uh, that's, that's what's going to get me back to the big leagues. That's what got me to the big leagues was my bat. So if I can just show some teams that I can be reliable at those different positions, that they can count on me in a situation to just make the make the right plays uh, and then my bat will do the damage for me. The batting average 276 you have I think seven home runs and uh, about 28 RBIs doing pretty well but how are you working on that and getting better there? Uh, Hitting is always a challenge you know you're going to have your peaks you're going to have your valleys I got off to a really hot start this year I you know I hit 350 in April with a bunch of home runs and uh, I thought hey this is pretty easy but you know this game is really funny I feel like uh, there's the humble and the those who are about to be humbled in baseball because uh, it can swing quickly. Uh, you just have to kind of do some damage control. I went through a little rut there where I, ha I had a tough series and uh, try to do the best to, to work with our hitting coach. And um, you know, this game's all about confidence. Uh, if you have confidence in the in the box and, and you believe in yourself, uh, that that uh, can help you push through those those valleys. Okay, and you said uh, earlier in the interview that you always like coming home. Do you have people coming? I, I know you said that you were in Hazleton last night. Do you have people coming down to see you here yes. and then obviously in Wilkes-Barre? Yeah. I actually have, I think I have like 15 tonight on the pass list. So, and, and I think if the weather was a little nicer, some more people would come. There's probably going to be some more coming Saturday. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to, to get to Scranton too because uh, I get a lot of a lot of fans, a lot of friends coming there, a lot of family that I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, you know, it's special to me. It, the first six years of my career, I was nowhere close to the East Coast. I was all on the West Coast. So to be able to come home and, and play in, in front of some family always, you know, gets you a little extra motivation for the game. Okay. Well, thank you very much for taking some time to talk to us. We wish you the best of luck, and we will be seeing you again in a couple weeks when you do come to Scranton Looks Ready for the Rail Riders. That's enough right now with Russ Kanzler. We will have more on the International League scores coming up in the second half of sports, along with some Berwick Girls Softball District playoffs, so make sure you stay tuned to Late Edition.